Sa pagkakataong ito mga bossing, may kita nyo sa mga mata ng Amerikano ang gigil nito na anime ay gustong lapangin ng buhay ang ating kababayan na si Merceto Gesta, isang tubong Mandawi City, Cebu. Makakaharap niya dito mga boss ng Amerikanong si Tyron Alonso Barnett. Malakas ang loob na Amerikanong ito mga boss dahil impresibo ang huling laban nito bago makaharap ang ating pambato. Ang kanilang bakbakan nito ay isa lamang 10 round fight. Ngunit napakahalaga nitong ipanalo para sa ating kababayan dahil sa kasalukuyang ito ay wala pang bahid ng talo ang kartada ng ating pambato. May kartada kasi ito mga bossing na 25 panalo, walang bahid ng talo. May isang tabla at labing tatlo dito ay tinapos by knockout. Samantala ang kanyang katunggali naman mga boss na si Tyron Alonzo Barnett ay may kartadang 20 panalo, may dalawang talo, may isang tabla at labing tatlo dito ay tinapos by knockout. Ginanap ang kanilang laban sa Texas Station Casino sa Las Vegas. Huwag na natin patagalin to mga bossing, bakbaka na agad. Round one scheduled for 10 as we get an early look at Hesta. I asked you much earlier tonight, Sugar Shane, that if Barnett... Where he's just throwing one punch at a time, he has to put combinations together. Together is the southpaw, tried to place that right hook that time. Trying to get that right hook off. <laughs> time Barnett tried to bring the right hand to the body. Darley Perez against Baja, red, white, and blue. Benoit of the Philippines. That was a good news on Hesta. Hesta at 5'7 checked in. It's a reminder, you see it on the screen right there. Friday Night Fight's Facebook page. You can do the live voting there. The left hand by Hesta. It's Hesta that's the champ on him here at the end of one. I guess he's got the trouble. Turn throw at age 16 back in the Philippines. He's been getting some attention. Pacquiao opened the door for this generation of Filipino fighters. That was a great right hand. I just think that he can run in or whatever because this guy can't punch. Tried to place that right uppercut. Then Barnett was pushing down on Hesta. But covering up right away. Let's keep that left real long. He has to watch out because Hesta loves to throw that right hook. Went right hook, left, left uppercut that time. And he comes sweeping in with a left hand. I think Hesta wants to sit the straight left. End of two. That time Barnett tried to meet Hester when he came in. And he touches him with that right hand. Yeah, he's changing up a little bit. That time a little more offensive. Continued it. Just looks a little more. And it was that nice short right uppercut. And he hasn't hurt. Good end fighting by Hester. Oh, oh good shot, shot by Barnett. Barnett's there, a good body shot. On the attack. Yeah. a year ago and then when I started out I thought he fought there's a good straight right hand moments ago by Barnett and Hesta seemingly unaffected and now he jumps in with a left hand that's a NDC's Ty Barnett 20 wins two knockout losses in his team eight according to CompuBox with the power punches in that last round Hesta very comfortable getting right into that pocket yeah, you see him throw the right hook but right when he throws the hook the right back shot comes right countering um, to get the shot that he's looking for, like that. There it is. Make, Bar make Barnett reach for him a little bit. Make Barnett come to him a little bit. Barnett, we showed you the two clean punches he landed that were very effective, so two rounds to one. This is what he to do. Great right hand. He's switching it up. Yep. He's doing everything off the jab like he's supposed to. And he looks good. Looks much more comfortable here. 
the left There's hand. There's that lead left, oh. and then he comes back with a left uppercut and a sweeping right hand back to the inside, right hook and uppercut as he tries to pin him into the corner. That might, that might have gave Hester the round. Just when we said Barnett was comfortable, Hester came on. Oh. Round the end of round four, that Hesta may have stole the round with the work he did in the last 20 seconds. Close scoring according to the Friday Night Fight viewers on our Facebook Live scorecard application. They went with Hesta with 59%. Yeah, it was definitely a close round because... Oh, he placed oh. that left hand. Wow. Barnett's in trouble. Forced back on wobbly legs. He tried to duck oh, and weave out of there. Did you see his legs just go like loose spaghetti? Hesta's right. getting after him right now. Yeah, a right. right hand comes in. Barnett is hurt. Mercito Hesta. No mercy. His nickname, he's got a minute 30 and change to work it that way. Yeah, Hesta needs to take his time and place his shots the right way. If not, Barnett can get out of this round and maybe clear his head. Remember, Ty Barnett, only two career losses, both Good body shot. were by knockout. Ooh, Left oh, uppercut. Um, right uh, hand up top. It's a little more wiry. He should be going to the body a little bit more uh, to set up the headshot because now he's looking for the shot. Barnett has to thought somehow, that some way, <laughs> oh, he'll survive right this and then steady himself. 58 thrown. And he just clips the top of his head that time with the right hook. Now he looks to split the guard with a straight left. I think he turns over real fast so he can get that straight left hand in. Like that. That time he goes with the lead left hand and then came back with a right. The seat does do a great job of counting over that jab. And he does, he does count. Right to the inside. Four rounds to go between these two. That's next week on Friday Night Fights. This is round seven of our main event, Ty Barnett and Mercito Hesta. You'll be with me next week for that fight. I will be. You're going to go home, rest up. You'll see uh, Shane Jr. spar a bit next week and train, I'm sure. Yes. You'll, 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 feed, you'll feed and uh, you'll feed your pet monkey. <laughs> Tito. Tito, the monkey. <laughs> Hester's on a roll here. Just for the viewers at home that are wondering, what exactly do you feed a pet monkey? <laughs> well, I like to feed it. I just won't feed anything heavy like that. Uh, right. Good overhand right, right on that. Jab from Hester. I think that Hester falls asleep for a second. Well, there's some moments of inconsistency to his uh, trainer. He, did a good job. Uh, well, he was hurt badly at the end of round five. He was able to, throughout round five, he was able to survive that. But it seems like Hester only fights at the last uh, part of the round. He, he does it. come on strong though. And then when he when he when he rocks them or gets them ready, then uh, they go down, they sit down, and and he recuperates. Has to bring in that right glove over just to catch that. But then it's you more the jab in, more the jab right hand. If you know, if he wants to try to win the fight, or might possibly a knockout. date here of our main event between Hesta and Barnett, but just to wrap up the night on Magdaleno. Hope, you said earlier, listen, he does have power, 
He can connect. Can he pull it off here late? What is the answer? What should he be looking for if he is? To he needs to listen to his corner. Keep that jab popping for the overhand right. And hopefully one of those rights can hit the jackpot. It could because Hester right now is not really paying attention. He's just paying attention to what he wants to do. And he's hitting with great left hands like that. If he keeps left hand that time. If he keeps getting hit with past spring. And now your son is doing his thing. And now he's boxing. Hopefully he can uh, live up to you know, the same. I don't like to say for us with our Facebook live scoring application, that is the case. We'll see if Ty Barnett can pull this one out as Mercito Hista looks to extend his mark to the 26th win of his career. That is the way you, the fan, sees it. Seven rounds to one, only the third round. That's the really sitting down on that left hand and then he tried to lift his head with a right uppercut. Garnett came in with a body shot and Hester was quick to answer. Good jab by Hester. Yeah, just firing off that right hand. Oh, oh. Oh, and then he came with the left of the body and a quick sweeping right hand. He's trying to get the job done. He's swinging for the fences. He was right there with that left hand. See some swelling around the eyes of Ty Barnett. Shining moments of Mercito Hesta where I really like what I see. Yeah. And then there are moments where he lingers oh. and he just oh. found one of those oh. moments there where you oh. gotta love what you see as he looks to close the show. Wow. What an offensive explosion from the Filipino. Six, seven, eight, nine. You okay? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Can he finish him? Big right hand. He goes down at the bell. You cannot be saved off the bell. He needs to rise up and beat the count. Fight is over. Fight is over. Jay Nady reacting as Duke Buchanan was trying to enter the ring to take care of his charge. Ty Barnett. And it's late in the, late in the fight, so it's time for him. Seemed like it was after the bell, Shane. Yeah. And now listen, away. he was damaged badly before that. Six, seven. But of two minutes, 59 seconds of round number nine. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, Mercito. No mercy. Hanggang dito na lang muna ang ating video ngayon mga boss. Kaya kung ngayon ka palang napadpad sa ating munting channel, mas maganda kung nakasubscribe ka na para lagi kang manotify sa ating mga bagong uploads. Maraming salamat sa inyong walang sawang suporta. Mabuhay, ingat po, and God bless!